Here's an A-Star DVD player that hooks up to the TV, and it has a problem. Um, I picked this up at Tiny Middle many years ago. Many as in, oh, oh well over 10, maybe 12, maybe longer than that. Uh, HDMI may have been out, but it wasn't a thing at the time. Because if you take a look, this doesn't have an HDMI port anywhere on it. It has component, it has S-Video, and it has composite. But there is no HDMI. So, throw it out. Got a new one. Or, as a millennial would say, oh my god, like, OMG, who watches DVDs anymore? Just watch Netflix on your phone. Like, what the hell? Um, there's still a lot of stuff on DVD. Uh, this player, because um, I don't really watch movies, uh, might have played four or five discs in its time. Used to be in my bedroom, and it doesn't eject the tray. We'll turn it on. Get some power. It has a a main switch and there's a VFD it says load and it says bad disk well I don't know about bad disk but there's a disk in there and when I hit the open close button which should be this one says open it doesn't open it's trying now it says load again and it's probably gonna say bad disk so something happened and it says bad disk uh, a lot of CD-ROM drives have a way where there's a little hole you could stick a paper clip in there. I don't see that here, and I don't want to go fishing in there, so I think we ought to open it up. So, there's a couple screws on each side. There's a bunch of screws on the back. There's some screws on the bottom. There's some screws to hold the faceplate on. I'm hoping just this will come off, so let me start taking some screws out and see what I can do. Well, there's not much inside. There's a power supply board, the mechanism, and a decoder board. That's really it. Here's your power switch. Like I said, it is a mains switch. It's definitely 120 volts there. It's all heat shrinked or heat shrunk. Let's turn it on and watch. Okay, so the disc isn't stuck, and we heard it do something before. It says load now, but it's not actually doing anything. And it says bad disc, so this may be beyond what I really can do. I just wanted to really have a look here. It, it's just a shame that it really didn't have... Oh yeah, now you open, sure. But it only opened halfway. Well, there might be hope. Although, I don't like that load and it's still not spinning up the disc. Try open again. Okay, I don't remember if this tray goes out any further, but generally the problem is this belt here that stretches in time. I think it only opened that far. There is a, certainly a fingerprint on there, and this is a DVD-R, so it may have spurled. So... I'm going to try another disc. Here's another burned DVD. We'll put that in. Well, it's still not loading or even trying. 
it's maybe possible that because of the belt it's uh it's not engaging the mechanism to say hey there's a disc in here although it should say no disc instead of bad disc let's see what happens now It says bad disc. It should say no disc. I don't hear any strange sounds. I want to try something else. See if it'll open again. I don't remember. It may have been this slow anyway. Because it just takes its sweet time before it does anything. We'll go to close it. And slam it. And I'll try that with a disc also, after we see what happens, although it's probably going to say the same thing. Yeah, it says bad disc. So it, it may have just, you know, called it quits. Um, also, the laser mechanism may have, uh, oh, see, it didn't even want to go that time. Just a black thing. No, I thought I smelled something funny, but no, it's fine. Well, um, all right, let's try something else. Although I think this is really a bit beyond. That shouldn't be there. That should be there. I'll put it right soon. Open. There is a connector I can reseat, so I can try that. Um, there's a connector there that can be reseated, so I'll play with that a minute. Hmm, it says no disc. I may have fixed it. I didn't get it on camera, but I'm going to show you what I did. We'll hit eject. Again, I haven't fixed that, so it's probably still going to jam up. Try to get, there we go. Okay, so that still isn't fixed. But what I did, let me shut power, is I reseated that connector, and I reseated that connector. I mushed all the rest just to make sure they're in there. And you're not really supposed to do this, but like the saying in life goes, use it or lose it. Okay, if you don't use muscles, they tend to decompensate. Um, here is the mechanism that drives the laser assembly. And you see that it moves a bit. But the gear turns, and then it sort of has a bump. But if you force it, if you notice, the laser sled is moving back so it's going to take me a minute to get there so this is exactly where i had it tray open i drove the laser sled all the way back until it can't go anymore i tore up my finger in the process so that's always nice yeah it doesn't sound great but look it's trying and it says no disc so and now it's not complaining I'll try the same first disc that I had before because I know it used to work make sure it goes okay a little wibbly but let's see disc may be bad and may not be able to be read it looks like it would have read it by now so we'll try another one, but it's spinning the disc now. And no dice on that, we'll try another. Mm. Now it's doing that same crap where it's not spinning the disc. Uh, let me power it off and back on. Oh, something happened now. 
No, I guess not good enough. I don't know why it does that scrapey scrape shit. So, yeah, this thing may be pooched. Let me uh, power it and have it eject immediately. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Uh, there's something definitely screwed up with this thing. Try to, it doesn't even want to force out. Because there's some locking mechanism that's... Oh! Okay. There. Let me run the laser back again. I'll just do it a little bit. Um, I forget which way it went. Yeah, this way. There's still these bumpity bumps in it, but they're a lot less than they were. A lot less. That's good enough. We'll try that. Still making that horrible noise. I don't think it's going to read the disc like that. That's probably bad. <laughs> uh, I, it, you know, I figured we'd take a look. It doesn't even stop the disc. Let's see if it'll open. I have this, but there actually was an error in manufacturing. I don't know where it is now, but there was actually like a bubble in it. There's scratches and dirt on it now, but there was actually a bubble in it and it never burned properly. And this I actually had bought years ago, but it, you know, it would only play up to a certain point. Uh, you know, I could pull the laser assembly and play games with this. But I think once I pull the laser assembly, I'm going to get tired of playing with it, and that's going to be it. And I'm just going to throw the whole thing out because it's not, it's not worth anything, you know. It's old, it's out of date, nobody really uses optical media much anymore. You know, save the power supply. Uh, there's all these, you know, I could meter it out and see, but what do you, you know, what am I going to do already with this? <laughs> you know, there, there's only so far I'm willing to go. Uh, it looks like four screws to get the laser assembly out, so we could try that, I guess.